and welcome to our weekly vodcast. I hope you're all staying warm on this incredibly frigid weekend of February. So before I get off to the regular section of our vodcast, I have very four special Room 21 rock stars here to share with you a very special event that they have coming up for a service project that they're involved in. So take it away, guys. Hello, Room 21 rock stars and fellow scholars as well as parents. Today, me... Hayden, Trish, and Ian are here to talk to you about a yellow flyer that we sent home for a Hope House donation. So mm -hmm. Trish and Ian, take it away. Yeah. So basically what this is, for the parents that weren't here at Academy Time, the um, basically it's a family bingo night that um, we're ha that's going on on the 18th of February, um, Thursday the 18th, and um, in case, we're also going to have a potluck like 30, 30 minutes before the actual... Um, the actual bingo night, so so if you're wondering what you guys need, so here's what you need. Third grade is bringing drinks, fourth grade is bringing desserts, and then fifth grade is bringing the main meals. So, and then Trish is going to go off and say what the Hope House actually is, for those who do not know. Okay, so basically what the Hope House is, is a place for women and children to live for, because there is a abuser in the family, and they just need to get away before one of them gets hurt. And, of course, this is for donations for them to help them get back on their feet. So some of the donations are bleach, paper towels, large black garbage bags, cleaning wipes, preferably Clorox, plastic utensils, paper plates, bowls and cups, Lysol spray, liquid, liquid cleaners, and liquid hand soap. And these aren't required in order to come. It's just if you feel generous enough to bring these, please do. Thank you for listening, but one more reminder, we did send that paper home with an RSVP slip at the bottom. If you can, please bring it in at least by Wednesday, and we'll be gladly to take you in and show you where the tables are and have your donations and your food go into the cafeteria. Try to get it before Wednesday, before Thursday night, at least. So, guys, just one more uh, question. What day is your event? Okay, so the day that this event is going on is... February 18th on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. That's going on 6 to 7.30. We will play a fun game of bingo afterwards, the potluck. We hope to see you there and back to Mr. Riker. Okay, thanks, scholars. So, you know, a couple of just uh, quick other announcements before I get off to the strategy session this week. Um, first of all, as um, those scholars so eloquently put it, we do have our family night coming up on Thursday. It's for our academy team. We're having a potluck. And then after that, we are also um, going to be playing some bingo. So it's going to be a great night had by all. Also, this Monday, there is no school in observance of President's Day. So make sure you mark that on your calendar. I do want to give a shout out to this week's Rockstar of the Week, Mr. Noah Bird. Noah has been incredible in class using his Baird Academy manners and just so invested and passionate about the books that we're reading in class and he's really inspired others um, within the classroom as well. So congratulations goes out to Noah on that front as well. Those are all of the announcements that I have for this very cool weekend. I hope you guys have a great three-day weekend and I will see you on the other end. Hey, Room 21 Rockstars, welcome to the weekly strategy session here on um, the weekly vodcast. I'm going to send you on over to the vodcast section to begin with today. I have a ton of new strategies. You know, guys, as you know, in math, we're totally switching gears and getting into geometry um, for the third quarter, which is incredibly exciting. So I have a couple of things here that are available for you to earn some house points and also to kind of support what we're doing in class and to strengthen that. Um, um, throughout the week. Some of these things will make more sense as the week goes on, but I tried to provide things that I think that you can manage at home. So first of all, I would point you to this Google slide that is called Geometry is All Around Us, okay? So at, in the first part of the week, guys, the first day of our geometry unit, we're simply really going to be talking about, um, you know, kind of a review of the fourth grade content, the different types and 
of geometry because what you're going to find is that as we study geometry, everything starts with a point. And then it gets to a line, and then we get to an angle, okay? And then we get to triangles, and then we get to quadrilaterals, okay? And that's kind of going to be our progression. Well, the first day of geometry, we have to make sure that we have this part down right here, which is the point, and then also the line. And then everything that is new in fifth grade starts with angles, triangles, and quadrilaterals. So this is kind of our review part. This is where we're headed. Um, so I have a couple of things here. So first of all, geometry is all around us. You know, I think the cool thing about geometry is it, that it really is all around us. It's a part of our life. It's a part of everything we do and see. Um, and so what I've created is a class, um, Google Slide. And so what I want you to do is um, simply add to this um, to earn some house points. And I'll be able to see who added, um, as you know. So go ahead and just, you know, where are some points at in your life? Where are some lines? How about line segments? Um, how about rays? How about intersecting lines? How about perpendicular lines? How about parallel lines? Where do you see these things in your life? You know, I'll give you one such example of parallel lines. As I'm filming this, okay, I'm thinking about the lines in the kitchen, in my kitchen, and the kitchen tile, okay? If the kitchen tile was not parallel, okay, whoever installed the floor, that would not have worked, okay? Or railroad tracks for that instance as well. You know, trains have to have those parallel lines. So if you just go ahead and contribute to this shared Google slide, okay, found at this link, then you'll be able to earn yourself five house points. Remind me in class that you contributed to it, but we're actually going to use that throughout the week. So your contributions will be put on display as well. Um, you know, this is just a really basic picture that I have here um, to kind of get you started, but what can you find in this picture? Recreate this on your page and try to label the things that are in the PowerPoint, um, including points, lines, line segments, rays, intersecting lines, perpendicular lines, parallel lines. Try to find all those things in that picture, okay? And then, as I said, we're now getting to angles. So I've included an angle video, and I thought this, that this video was really great just because it really starts at the basics of what an angle is, okay? What an acute, obtuse, and straight angle are, what a right angle is, okay? And then you'll be able to come on up to the IXL site, which is right here, and really dive deeper and practice the different types of angles, okay? That are all around. So all of those different things will be available here, but this video is a great starting point for you guys. And it is nine minutes, but I thought it was an excellent, excellent film. Hi, welcome to. Okay, so go ahead and check that out, and then you can check out the IXL. So you can get five house points for the Google slide, five for recreating this and labeling what you can see there. And then each of the problems on the IXL site, guys, are worth one point as well, okay? And who knows, if Mother Nature dumps some snow on us and we have another snow day, this would be an excellent opportunity to kind of get ahead with our math this week. It is going to be so exciting. I have so many cool things planned for you guys um, for us to learn and grow together um, that I cannot wait for the week to kick off to begin with. I do also have the final quarter two math review up here. You know, guys, if there's anything here and there are many pages to it, you can earn a house point for anything. You know, after taking your benchmark, if there's anything that you still, you know, circled on your work that you feel like you totally didn't have down, you can check that out as well. Okay, the math challenges of the week are obviously up there. For reading this week, I have a very specific question that's going to make a little more sense this week, but it is, what are some things that you wonder about city, about the city, okay, in general? So make sure you always put your name, only put your first name, okay? And then some things that you wonder, okay? Just like that, okay? The 40 book goal check-in is there. The writing fix of the week is pretty awesome because it is why, why was there a secret door in the back of her closet, okay? Why had it just opened and what could possibly be down the steps, I, I chose this one only because it reminded me of the City of Ember, you know, the mysterious nature of the book and the different clues that we have to use to piece together to find out the different details of the book. So go ahead and do that, and I, we'll share it during Sacred Writing Time this week as well. I think you guys are going to absolutely love this site. Um, Mrs. Carpenter and I found this site, and it's actually all the games we've been playing in class, or you may have been playing 
um, during IE time, they're available online. So we have Rush Hour, we have Laser Maze, which I have in the back of the room, we have Code Master, all of these different games that you can actually play right on your computer, okay, using this link. It's really awesome. You can watch a tutorial if you've never played, you can read the quick rules, different things like that. Just absolutely awesome. Um, you can play right at home and um, be ready to rock and roll. Mine's not coming up, but it will load on your computer. I promise I was playing it just a little bit ago. And then finally for science, if you want to go ahead and review for that portion of our learning in science, you can go ahead and use all of these words in a Google slide presentation. Okay, and that's been posted on Google Classroom. And then you can share your link like Sarah did here, and it'll take you to your presentation. Okay, so that is one available opportunity for you there, guys. Now, the secret hashtag of the week is very mysterious indeed, but it is hashtag burnout. Hashtag burnout. And you will find out what that means later this week, but it is going to be incredibly exciting in class this week. So I can't wait to get things kicked off, and that hashtag will make a little more sense. You know, I want to plug your classmates' family bear bingo night one more time. This is their flyer that was sent home, guys. Here's their meme, bro, why you no donate. And we are having our potluck and bingo on Thursday night from 6 to 7.30 in the activity room. And if you can bring one of these items to donate to their cause, all the proceeds are going to be going to the Fredericksburg Hope House. So it's an awesome, awesome event that your classmates have totally and completely planned. And just one other quick reminder, guys, you know the house race is very close. But some houses are beginning to pull apart. It is pretty miraculous that red and green are literally tied right now. But Orange House, you got to get rocking and rolling. So the vodcast is an excellent opportunity for you to earn yourself a few extra house points. Now I'm going to send you guys back over to Mr. Record in person. Hey, we're 21 Rockstar families. I hope that those strategies were successful. I have one other quick announcement I totally left out of the beginning section. Bedroom Blitz applications are due on February 19th. That is, if your scholar would like to have their bedroom blitzed by the Academy staff, they have to fill out that letter telling us why they think they are deserving of that um, awesome um, treatment, and that needs to be turned in by February 19th. I hope to see you guys all out for our family night bingo potluck on Thursday night from 6 to 7.30 in the activity room. And if you can donate an item to the Fredericksburg Hope House that night, that would be awesome as well and be very helpful to Walter, Caden, Trish, and Ian for their service project for Destination Imagination. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, do not hesitate to contact me. You guys are the incredibly best families in Stafford County, and I'll see you next week.